How do I start this video? Have you ever wondered what lurks behind your dentist's smile? On the surface, Dr. Kenny's smiles seem like any other dentist. A white coat, a friendly smile, and a calming voice. But behind that charming facade lurks a dark secret. No. Okay, stop. I tried to get AI to write the intro of this video, but it's starting to sound like a true crime podcast. And I, I even hired somebody to do the voice acting. But the AI got one thing right. This dentist is a creep. I'm Dr. Kenny Wilstead. I own Smile Again Dental in Garland, Texas, and I specialize in making people smile again. There's a dentist on TikTok who's very famous for correcting the teeth of people who can't afford dental work. Dr. Kenny Wilstead, or he goes by Dr. Kenny Smiles. Outside of TikTok, not many people are talking about him, but he is racking up a long laundry list of problematic behavior, including getting arrested in 2014, posting racial slurs in 2021, making fun of his patient's appearance, and even making sexual advances towards his patients. Oh shit, the look I just got. It wasn't the kind of, I'm gonna fuck you later. This was someone I could not go to for my teeth because of the way he treats other people and talks to women. You ever like kissed a guy in those? Yeah, my boyfriend every day. You kiss your boyfriend with those in? That was a man for life. How you talk to people, how you sexually harass women, that's not okay. Damn, she is my lover. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. I can no longer publicly support Dr. Kenny. Those are right out of a Halloween catalog. You are a bully, and that is disgusting behavior that you that you portray on every platform that you have. Dr. Kenny Smiles owns a dental practice in Texas called Smile Dental. Looks like a reputable business. It has good Google reviews. He's amassed over 700,000 followers on TikTok. Even Inside Edition featured him five years ago. Leah had come to Dr. Kenny Wilstead for a painful molar. A lot of people are coming forward with stories describing Dr. Kenny as being a scumbag and a predator. This is an actual Google review, but his tagline is the politically incorrect dentist where jokes are welcome. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the dentist, I don't wanna hear jokes, especially when it's at the expense of my physical appearance. But this is something he does all the time, posting pictures on his Instagram with the caption, dirty teeth, calling his patients mail-in brides because they have an accent. Are you happy? Do you speak English? Yes, sir. But before I get into any more examples, let's go back to 2014. This is probably going to be a longer than usual video, so I'm going to put timestamps down below. May of 2014, Dr. Kenny gets arrested by the DEA for fraud, for overprescribing medications to his friends, patients, and himself. According to the investigation conducted by the DPS, he prescribed over 800 hydrocodone pills between June 2013 and May 2014 to a personal friend. He kind of downplays it, says that he was just helping out a patient in need. A lot of my patients end up being my friends because I'm really personable and, and they're like, well, you know, we just got word from the pharmacist, you know, that about six months ago you prescribed some narcotics for him, you know, or that you had been, you know, you've been, you know, prescribing these narcotics for him. And, um, so I'm like, yeah, you know, he's been off and on, you know, with a lot of pain since he's been in Invisalign. And this leads to three board meetings that takes place by the dental examiners to see if his license should be taken away. 2015 for overprescribing meds, 2019 for again violating the laws of dental practice, and 2021 for failing to provide business records, among other things. So you can already see the kind of business ethics that he has. But since that was in September of 2021, let's go back and talk about some of the things that happened earlier in the year, which was how he was under fire for making gracious comments with his daughter. Who else besides the Indians do you think if it wasn't the Indians that we were fighting? Okay. Them dang illegals. <laughs> Don't post that. I'll get hate. I also said nigga in the last thing you posted. So That's part of the song. People, I don't care. People are going to think I'm racist. No, because it's part of a song. I say nigga all the time. Me too. But, but I'm in front of niggas. I don't be saying in front of black people. And I'm sure you got a lot of black followers. Love you. He posted this on his company's Facebook. And according to what she said, it isn't the first time that he's posted his daughter saying the N-word on his Facebook account. <laughs> I also said nigga in the last thing you posted. But despite all of this, Dr. Kenny kept up with his posts. He started getting more popular on TikTok. He was posting a lot of the transformation videos of his patients, but also trying to make jokes with his patients because like he says, jokes are welcome. We'll do the top 10 and then the, I'll pay for the bottom 10. What? Are you gonna do all of them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Yeah. No! Oh my god! Don't think any now! Oh my god! Are you serious? I'm just fucking with you. Okay. I'm just kidding with you now. Wait, what? 
I'm such a dick. Not funny. So mean. It's my bucket saying. list of fucking 90 year olds. So. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Alright, so you know this piece of shit right here? I do. Are you talking to me or her? Those are called summer teeth. <laughs> you know what that means? Mm -hmm. Some are going this way and some yeah. are going that way. Damn! Those are right out of a Halloween catalog. Yeah, you're gonna get fucked for the first time. For real. Sometimes the jokes are not cool. You would kind of hide behind those big lips, huh? Round of applause for the comedy stylings of Dr. Kenny Smiles. Bill Burr has been real quiet since these hilarious videos dropped. I worked in a dental office. It's a business. I realized that just like comedians, there was good dentists, there was hacks. <laughs> so now we're in the year 2023, and Dr. Kenny Smiles has the wonderful idea to do a competition. Competition where three lucky people get a new smile in a giveaway. Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Wilstead, and this is my practice. I've been practicing dentistry for 13 years now, and I specialize in making people smile again. Yeah, hey, you're gonna get fucked for the first time for sure. <laughs> I find people all over social media and the internet, and I just can't help myself when I see a smile that I know that I can fix. Those are right out of a Halloween catalog. Mm -hmm. Going through this process was extremely fun. One thing I noticed is that there was just so many stories of so many people who need our help. So I'm hoping that something like this will help just fuse the rest of the industry into helping more people. Now let's enter one of the winners, Chelsea. Chelsea was ecstatic to hear that she was one of the winners that won the contest, but she also had this to say about her experience. So this is a trigger warning for anybody. If you don't want to see that, keep scrolling. I'm gonna go ahead and show the video. And so you can kind of like look at your own. Try not to look like completely retarded during this whole thing. It was a special moment. It was the first time I've I ever actually seen myself with real teeth and he ruined it. Like he completely ruined it. Like I have no words for how he acts and treats people and the sexual harassment he does to women and the words he uses not caring what somebody else feels. It's baffling to me. And people keep saying, you defended him, you defended him. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I defended him because I knew that if I didn't, and I said, yeah, what he said hurt me. Yeah, I didn't like anything he said. I took it to heart, blah, 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 that the other two people that were involved were not going to get their smile because it would have blown up. I have blocked Dr. Kenny on everything. I don't support him no more. I will never support him again or any guys like him. And I will always do my research from here on out because in life, we're all human. We all make mistakes and we all learn from our lessons. And this was a big lesson learned. I was a voice for the women who didn't have a voice. And I'm forever thankful for that. And they come to me and they tell me their stories. And it's heartbreaking to sit there and like read what they went through and know that if I would have spoken up, maybe they wouldn't have. But at the end of the day, I'm like I said, I'm only human and I can only do so much. Chelsea isn't the only person who had a story to tell. This is Annalie Elizabeth. She applied for a different contest that Dr. Kenny had. We are filming for my new show. We have open auditioning happening right now. If you feel like a new smile would change your life forever, then I want to hear from you. I am looking for contestants that would benefit from a life-changing smile makeover. Dr. Kenny is trying to start his own television program and he needs contestants. And this is the video that he made. Okay, the hashtag is DKS casting, not casting couch. So be aware. <laughs> I mean, if you want to send one of those, it just your account might be canceled. <laughs> there were costing couch joke in there at the end. He says, <laughs> so gay. So Annalie Elizabeth applies for this contest, and in doing so, she gets hit on by the good doctor. No. Not that good doctor, but this is exactly how she describes what happens to her. She posts a video talking about her dental issues and how she would love to be part of this contest because she needs a lot of work done. My dentist diagnosed me with a genetic disease called oligodontia. Oligodontia has kept me from making friends. It has kept me from having boyfriends. It has kept me from getting jobs. And then she posts this TikTok with the DMs that he said to her. Oh my gosh, you followed me. Does this mean you saw my audition on TikTok and my other Instagram? Yes, I saw. I'm so happy you saw it. Sorry, I'm an ugly crier. 
Just wanted to have sex with you. It's fine. People were skeptical. They're like, are you sure this is actually his account? Well, yes, it is. Dr. Kenny smiles. 536,000 followers on Instagram. And she only replies with a Kim Kardashian face. I've filmed this video three times. I have one edited. I trashed one. I just haven't. I, I don't really know like what direction to go with this. I've saw, had some large creators on here reach out and ask me to make a GoFundMe and that they would share it. My issue with that is I was never looking for a handout. I'm gonna get emotional, I'm so sorry. I was never looking for a handout. Before the DKS casting, I was just looking for dentist suggestions. When I found out about the DKS casting, about his show, I was like, okay, well, this is like, a fair way for me to get what I need. She hasn't talked much about the situation. She said she's gonna post a video on it coming up soon, but she did do a little update saying that she started a GoFundMe. She's trying to raise $30,000 so she can get the work done on her teeth on her own. This is extremely hard for me to do. After opening up and being vulnerable to Dr. Kenny Smiles, I was met with this sexually inappropriate response from me, a medical professional. What hurt worse than that was seeing that he's done this with so many other women who were vulnerable and in need of help. That's why I posted what he said to me, not for me, but for everyone else before me. I couldn't keep it to myself. I felt disgusting for them. Angry, violated, disrespected. I'll post the GoFundMe in the description if you want to read more and donate. But since we're on the topic of unwanted sexual advances, let's show a few examples I found in the 30 minutes of scrolling his socials. If you come on there and start asking for free shit, I'm gonna literally, That's a quick way to not like, get it. <laughs> if you want free shit, you gotta like, send some pictures of your boobs. Because after I posted this, this is the response I was met with. This is absolutely disgusting on so many levels, but I just want to say that if you're entering into this giveaway, just know that it's about more than just teeth, supposedly, and you might want to go on Reddit. Yeah, you might want to go on Reddit, and you might want to type in his name. No, I'm crying mess. Yeah, now that you're all <laughs> flustered, like we just f***ed or something. <laughs> what are you supposed to say to this? He's working on your teeth. You don't want to say anything to make him angry. And it's so strange that he posts these videos thinking that it's okay, and then he has inspirational music in the background. This is someone who shared her DMs from 2021 with Dr. Kenny. Not only is he clickbaiting a lot of women in his thumbnails, but he's also hitting on them in his DMs. I'm truly beyond the definition of disgusted and absolutely embarrassed for you, Dr. Kenny. Let me just go ahead and say this before we get started on this video. I am forever grateful for the smile and the opportunity that I was given, and I'll forever be thankful for that. But that does not excuse your shitty ass behavior. And I think it's about time you get a dose of reality. Now I wanna understand, I really wanna understand why you think that you are up here and everybody else is below you and you can talk to us as such. I really wanna know because I, like I said, I am disgusted. You are a bully. There's no sugarcoating it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. You are a bully and that is disgusting behavior that you, that you portray on every platform that you have. There are people out here who are sensitive. I am sensitive. Did I act sensitive whenever I got my teeth fixed? No, because at the end of the day, I was getting a free smile and I wasn't gonna piss in your cornflakes. How you talk to people, how you sexually harass women, that's not okay. Never will it be okay. And if you keep on down that road, you're, you're gonna end up right back to the lowest of the fucking low. You understand? This is a pretty recent story. Everything that's been coming out has been in within the last week. So leave me a comment down below if you've heard any of this. I was supposed to post a completely different video today also about dentistry weirdly enough if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below make sure you subscribe if you're new and be sure to tune in next time because i think it is funny that you have three baby daddies and three kids or four baby daddies with four kids